Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Utility Corner. And in this video, we will learn how to add watermark on a photo using PowerPoint application. Here I have already opened a blank presentation in the PowerPoint and in this empty slide, I will add my photo in which I want to add the watermark. Now to open my photo, I will go and click on insert and then pictures and from the pictures, I will select this device and then I will browse and select my photo. After importing my photo into the slide, I will again go into the insert section and from there, this time I will select the text box option because we want to add text as watermark on our photo. After adding my text into the slide, I will change and increase the font size of the text. Also, I will style it as a bold text. After styling my text, I will align it right over my photo. Once my text is aligned, I will copy the text and paste it two more times in the same text box. If you want, you can add text in two separate text boxes and align it on your photo. Now I will select all the text and then I will click on shape format and in the shape format I will click on shape fill. Here you can see how your text box will look if you select the standard color for the background. But we want our text box to be transparent so we will be selecting the no fill option. Same thing applies for the shape outline option. Once I have formatted the shape of my text box, now it's time to format the text present inside this text box. Now in order to format my text, first of all I will select all the text and then I will right click and select format text effects from the context menu. On selecting the format text effects option, a format shape window will open. This window will have two options, shape options and text options. As we want to format the text, so we will go into the text options. Now from text fill and outline option, we will change our text color to white. After selecting the white color for our text, now I will change the transparency of my text. Here if you will look closely, here my cursor is over my first text. Therefore only the transparency of my first text has changed. Now I will select my other two text and I will change their transparency as well to 50%. Now I will rotate my text box to the left and I will change the font size of my text so that it fits completely over my photo.
Once your text box and photos are properly aligned, hold shift and select both your text box and the photo and then right click to group them into one object. Here you can try to move your photo and your photo and text should move together. It means that you are able to group them successfully. Now right click on your photo and select save as picture from the context menu. After saving our picture, let's open it into the photo app to view our final work. Here I think that the 50% transparency is not enough and I would like to increase the transparency of the text to 70%. So I will go again to the photo and make my changes. Now this is the level of transparency which I intended to have for my watermark on my photo. So now I will save this as my final work. If you find the content useful, please like the video and also subscribe to my channel for more such videos.